Hi guys! Hi. Okay, I brought some friends with me this time. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Say hi everybody. Hi. Say everybody. hi YouTube. Hi. Hi YouTube. I'm getting You're okay. Say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> okay, Tess wants to get in too. Ah, oh, two girls. I don't have enough lap for all these kids, huh? Okay, Kate, you want to tell them about your birthday? This is my birthday. You had your birthday yesterday, huh? Show them how old you were. Three. Okay, show them up high. Three. Three. Big girl. Okay, awesome. They just wanted to say hi. hi. Two girls, you can go watch your movie, okay? I see that. Okay, you go take that in the other room with you. Okay, uh -huh. and shut the door. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we're back for the 26 week update. And what? Okay, go get one. Alrighty. Okay. So I mentioned in the last one, and I'll put links to both my videos in here somewhere. Um, a link to my 25 week and so on. So Okay, so in my last one I mentioned that I had a doctor's appointment, um, just my monthly, and I also did the glucose drink, and I forgot to mention that um, what my weight was, uh, I was 155. <laughs> oh, 155. I don't, I mean, that's only four pounds from what I was last time, but it just feels terrible. <laughs> I hate seeing the numbers go up. <laughs> what do you do? But when I really think about it, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting near as fast with my girls, which makes me feel a little bit better. Okie dokie. So what else? Um, yeah, so the symptoms of my 26th week that are pretty much the same as my 25th. Uh, the appetite slowing down, the pelvis, pubic bones still hurt really bad. Um, oh, another thing, my feet, like just all the extra weight on my feet, like my feet get really, really sore really quick. Um, so that's no fun. Uh, what else? Yeah. Okay. So I said I went to visit my sister in California last week and while I was on the plane, and it didn't occur to me until it came to fruition that I should probably take some medi medicine for my reflux. Well, I didn't. I didn't have any Tums with me. I didn't have any Zantac or anything. And on the flight into California, I had the worst reflux, people. And obviously it was because of all the cabin pressure changes and the, you know, the turbulent the turbulence and everything just going up and down like that and the pressure in the cabin yeah so it made it really bad I mean I was drinking liters of water and and it was just because it was the only thing I had at the time and um so I just had to wait till I landed and then that night I was in pure misery and I finally had to take a Zantac because and then I had relief after that, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. So on the way home I made sure to take a Zantac before I went on the plane and it it I didn't have any problems. So hallelujah. That was misery. I will not do that again. Uh what else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um Oh, the position of the baby. I was going to tell you guys about this. Uh, so I think I've figured out where he's sitting. Okay. And I think I've like, I don't know exactly, but I've, I think I got a pretty good idea. Okay. So I'll show you. Hang on here. All right. So I think it's really dark in here. Sorry. That his head's here. This is my right side left to you probably. So I think his head is here. And his body comes this way, and then all of his legs and hands are sitting this way and down and stuff. Because I get a lot of kicking down in my cervix, and I get more kicking like here in this side, and some elbowing back here, 
and then some more punches and stuff up here. But I'm pretty sure he's head up. And the reason I will, and the reason why, I'll show you when I show you my belly shot why I think he's head up. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, so we have started working on the baby's room and that probably seems really late. And I shouldn't say started because, yeah, we, we got, we had, like I said in one of my videos, we had to build a wall in one of our parts of our house so that we can make a room for us to move in so that the baby could have our room. So we've moved all our stuff, which is where I am now, into this room. And um, so we got the whole bedroom cleaned out for the baby. And it's not really cleaned out right now. It's got a bunch of just odds and ends that I have to find places for. But we started working on the walls because the walls have had like old wallpaper on it and we've been having to redo the walls in order to make it look finished. So we're, we just started working on the walls. Um, my husband's gonna be doing more of that tomorrow. And so that's underway. And then after I get lots of the painting done, then I'm gonna get the carpets clean because they are nasty right now. Um, yeah, so I'll get the carpets clean and then I can start doing the rest of the stuff. And then I will do a nursery tour, tour at some point, hopefully. Uh, Anyway, okay, so I think that was all for week 26. Yeah, I had my appointment, but like I said, blah, 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 glucose, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to show you some baby stuff. And uh, some of the stuff I've had for a while, some of it's like just recent, I got it. Okay, so this, sorry, I've got sex going on, and I can't see, hang on. Okay, so, okay, so I just went to Walmart and they had a bunch of their fleece fabric on sale and I am all about making your own baby stuff and um, borrowing baby furniture and then repainting it. Like I am all about that people and you will find that out because that's exactly what I'm doing in this baby room. Okay, so I just found some uh, Walmart fabric of their fleece and I, just make my own burp rags because it's so much cheaper. I can get way more burp rags. And yeah, anyway, so my sister, she's a sewing freak, let me tell you. She can sew pretty much anything. Um, she, uh, she used to work at Lazy Boy Furniture. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Lazy Boy Furniture is. Um, so she used to work there and sew all the fabric for all the chairs. So she's a freaking crazy sewing person. Anyway, so I got this fabric. My camera's really bad at focusing, so sorry if it doesn't. Little monkeys, it's yellow. That's a burp rag. Here's another burp rag, and it's just polka dots. Brown, two different colors of brown and blue. This one's my favorite. Another burp rag, it's just a geometric pattern. Blue. And I just have a bunch of those, and then what fabric we didn't use for burp rags we just turned into receiving blankets and you'll see maybe that the sorry it's really bad i don't know if you can tell but this the edges are surged which is technically how they make fleece blankets people it's just one layer of fleece of flannel that they surged so that's all i had her do because i don't have a serger so i had her do it um yeah so i just did that and i have one of all the fabrics of so the monkey the polka dot and one of the geometric pattern. So, yeah, I'm gonna be making some more. I have some more fabric that's um, black with gray polka dots, which is so cute. And I'll be doing more burp rags of those and blankets and stuff. So, those aren't too exciting, but this is what I got recently on clearance. It's a little winter hat. Is that so cute? It's like a little lumberjack. I think it's so cute. It's a toddler size, so it won't be for a couple winters at least. I tried it on my three-year-old and it fits her, <laughs> but she has, she's tiny, so you never know. Okay, and then my same sister, like I said, sewing freak, she sewed this little hat. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> it's got little ears. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Yeah, she, I've had that for a while. Um, and then my twin sister like I mentioned in my last video I have a twin sister identical twin sister she got me a prize and baby a prize I should say and she gave it to us in California this is a little sleeper this is a three month I think yeah 
and it's the um, waffle thermal fabric and it has little guitars on it oh it's so cute and then this shirt also my aunt rocks oh that's gonna be that might be backwards for you guys anyway my aunt rocks yeah yes she does so cute okay and the last thing I was gonna show you how much time I got here um okay so a lot of you and I really I haven't even seen anybody on here yet um, that has that's been using these kinds of baby tubs but I I had seen them um, before I got pregnant and I was determined to get one when I got pregnant but the one I got is not the one I had been looking at so I'll show you the one I got and then I'll tell you about the other one okay so this is called okay I might have to see back here okay this is called a Mebby that's the brand M-E-B-B-Y and it's called their cocoon baby bath and like it has on here it has a little cup that you can just dip in and pour on the baby to rinse them off and if any of you have seen these the whole idea let me take this out it's just the paper that came with it is that they sit inside and this is a little seat some of them have seats some of them don't but this one has a little seat and the whole idea is that they feel that they get um, covered in water from like their, their chest down so that they feel more relaxed, more comfortable, um, keeps their body temperature regulated more, um, better than just the, the angled baby baths do, uh, which makes a lot of sense when you really think about it. I mean, that would be a lot more comforting to them. So yeah, I got that. And the one I actually was looking at is called the, um, it's from Lionheart, the same people that make the baby I never say it right, the baby pod um, seat. Um, it's the Prince Lionheart, um, and it's called the wash pod. And it's the same idea, but the shape's just a little bit different. And the only reason I got this one is because, um, I don't know, it looked a little bit more, a little easier to wash the baby with, and it had a little bit more room to get your hands down in and wash and stuff. So I got that one. And I'll probably, I might do a review on that when I finally get to use that. So I'm excited to use that and try it out. Um, and it was only $17 on Amazon. So I thought that was way cool because the wash pods were like over 30, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I thought I did pretty good with that. Anyway, so that was all the baby stuff I wanted to show you guys. And I think that was everything with the update. So... I will do my belly shot and then I will see you guys um, either on my 27 week update, update unless I have something else to talk to you guys about. Okay, so if you can see, I don't know, it might be hard in this light, but okay. So I told you that I think the reason why his head is up is because I, it's hard to really tell in here guys, but I am carrying so high. Like I have no baby down here. It's all up here. And um, I finally figured out that I think it's because his head's up here and all the mass of his body is higher, right? That's my guess. I don't really know, but from fetal movements and stuff, that's kind of what I've guessed. So anyway, I think it's bigger. It looks bigger to me. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird in these pants anyway yeah ta-da 26 week belly 26 weeks and two days actually so yeah there you go i will talk to you guys on the next one see you later